All right, so now we're gonna make a cross member for the rear links on the limo. So this is what we're making. We go from frame rail to frame rail. And we'll go down underneath the dry shaft. Upper links will mount here. Lower links will mount down here. Two by six here. So we're gonna start cutting this out of that and magic. <laughs> Poof, magic. <laughs> start tacking stuff in so I'm going to start by tacking these upper brackets in and then I'm going to tack the lowers in down here and then I'll tack these together So I got the cross member put up here into place on where it's gonna go. And I got everything adjusted to where it's gonna be. And the, those brackets are tacked in. So now I'm gonna start tacking these brackets to the cross member. Then I'm gonna pull the cross member out because it's just jacked up there with the jack right now. And then fully weld everything and gusset it and put it back in, weld it in. And then weld up the backs and then we can start mounting the coilovers getting closer. Alright, so now I got them all welded on how uh just in all the places i can so now i'm probably going to take something like that and weld that like that just to give it a little extra strength i mean it really doesn't need it but why not <laughs> and then with these here i'm going to cut this back off straight there and then bend that in all the way to there and weld it all up should work out pretty good, should look good. All right, I just finished up doing about an hour of welding. So all the brackets on the axle are welded up, all the links are welded up, cross members completely welded up. So now I'm going to grind uh, the paint off of the frame rail and get the cross member up into place and get it tacked in, well a little bit more than tacked into place and then I can bolt everything up and then we can start working on gussing the cross member to the frame so nothing moves. That's the plan.
have the best track record with doing stuff around fuel. So I'm gonna pull the gas tank out before I do any cutting or welding right next to the fuel lines. So I don't recreate what happened last 4th of July when I blew up a gas tank in my blazer. And it was like the end of June. It was basic. I remember being burnt on the 4th of July, so that's when it happened. Okay, close it up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get it pulled out and then knock the frame for the upper coilover mounts and start mounting coilovers into this thing. Yeah, I think this gas cage works. As you can see, I got it notched out. I got the fender well cut out and it fits in there super good. I got the bottom of this cut off if you guys saw. So now I'm gonna go through, weld it all up as much as I can. I'm not really gonna be able to get the backside too much, but I think it'll be all right and I'll throw some gussets in later. And then I gotta weld the mount onto the axle. And then I'll go steal the rest of the tires from the Bronco from the Bronx Star, because those are going on the limo, so I'll go steal those. And we'll put this on, we'll set it on its own weight and see what it looks like. And then we'll, you, know, you just gotta look at it sometimes. So I'm gonna get this welded up. All right, so I got the lower shock mounts tacked into place. They are just as far out as they can physically be. Like, because we just, we just don't have too much room from the side of the frame rail to here. So I just pushed them out as far as I can. And I'm gonna weld them in. Then we'll bolt the coilovers in, jack it up, and bolt some wheels onto it. I'm gonna weld the cross member in a little bit better first before we jack it up, but I'm gonna get these things welded in. All right, everything's welded up. We've got the lower brackets welded, upper brackets fully welded in, cross members welded in. So it's plenty strong, but we're still gonna gusset everything before we actually drive this. But I am eager to see how this thing's gonna look. So I'm gonna lift it up with the cherry picker, throw these coilovers in, go take some wheels and tires from the Bronco and throw them on here and we're gonna stand back and look at it. And admire the work you've done? Yeah, and admire the last month of work I've done. Literally? And we're probably halfway there. Which is good, because we have about a month left. So. <laughs> we're getting there! If we weren't at least halfway there, uh, I'd be concerned. You'd probably have to quit at this point. I am kind of concerned still. But we'll get it done. And you guys know that because you guys have already seen it. If you haven't seen it, then I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you missed Easter Jeep Safari. That's what you're doing. Yeah, because this thing things at Easter Jeep Safari. So if you were there and you didn't see it... Then what were you still doing? Where were you? <laughs> obviously How not, did you miss this? Obviously not where the cool stuff was. <laughs> You were doing something probably more boring than this. What's more exciting than a 30 foot limo and one tons and floors? Right? I, I don't know. If you're not excited for this to see this, I thought this thing is amazing. And depending on how these videos come out, uh, you may have seen or we might do or 
an idea we're having. I'm going to trailer my blazer to Moab with this. So I don't know how these videos are going to upload or even if we're going to do that, but right now that's the idea as the time of recording this video, which is what? 24th of February? February 24th. I have no idea where we need, these need to be set at, but... We'll figure it out as you go. Yeah. Are we going to send... I wonder if we could put this inside the trunk of the car. You're going to have to cut more? You know, I'd have to cut a hole so we could put those in, but there's a notch right there. I wonder if that'll fit in. I don't know. That's for later. We're going to put them in this way for now. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. We'll figure out the fine details later. Yeah. This is just mock-up. All this stuff's coming out again. That's the great thing about building stuff. You put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. Put it together. Take it apart. Yep. And then you put it together and drive it and you and break it. it. And then you gotta take it apart and redo it. Like Mr. Owen blowing up his motor? Yeah. You guys have already seen that video too. Let me know how it does. My brother's rebuilding the motor, so. Shouldn't blow up this time. <laughs> we'll play. That's quite the flex it's got going on. That's how much it droops. You gotta jack it up six inches. To achieve a level. Right. All right, so we're back working on the limo and we're gonna be doing power steering lines. We're getting as far as we can with them. So this one is actually from the truck that the steering box came out of. So this will work for the steering box ends, this end and this end will thread into those. And then, so we just need to pull the lines off the box and then we'll make lines that go together. Robbie says we can cut this and he's got a tool to flare it and crimp it and stuff. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna get these little power steering lines pulled out of here and start figuring out lines. All right, so we're reverse double flare in this. That's super strong pipe. Yeah, it's good enough. That's deep enough. Oh. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> this is probably not ideal, but it's gonna work. So we got our first half of flare done. We're making a power steering line for the Elimo O, and we're using the factory Ford F350 power steering line, and we are adapting it to the not factory line, well, to the factory car line. It's gonna be super sweet. It'll all make sense later. Okay, see? Put a nut on it. Now I've inverted, reverse double flared that. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will seal. Ow, it's so hot, because I, I used heat. I know the internet's gonna be upset, but it'll work. All right, so we've been trying to figure out what we wanna do for bumpers on this thing. We've been thinking about making like a tube bumper or making one on the plasma cutter and like designing it up or something. But I, I was thinking, I think Robbie's got a bumper somewhere. So before I try to make one stuff, I'm gonna go scavenge through his piles of stuff and go see if we can find a bumper. Cause I, I think he's got one. And there's definitely a lot of Jeep parts out here. Just what, just what I was looking for. Knew he had something somewhere. That looks like a limo bumper to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. 
Holy cow, it's heavy. Measure how wide it is. Sixty-seven, sixty-eight inches at the widest point. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, so that's the plan. We're gonna use this. What about the bat? I don't know. Maybe he's got another one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go look around. Okay. First the front, though. But we'll do the front bumper first. So. First thing you gotta do is get this bumper off so we can see how we're gonna get this on there. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that tight. <laughs> this, it, it's gonna bolt right in. This is, we bought the the limo kit, so it should work. Everything else is just bolted in so far. So right now, uh, we got these two scissor lifts to pick it up, and now we're gonna be pulling the coilovers out because I'm gonna be cutting those off of the frame and building a different bracket in the front. It's the transfer case to make this thing four-wheel drive. So I'm gonna be making a cross member kind of like the one in the back to mount these links and hold the transfer case. So now I'm going to cut these brackets off so we can reuse them and then I'll build a cross member and weld them back in. <laughs> so my stuff's nice because I do it twice. <laughs> Seems like our thing. <laughs> Alright so these are the original mounts that came off the transfer case and I'm making some new ones out of this so that I can weld to the side of it because this doesn't have much room to weld onto it. So I'm building new ones so I can weld and build a brace and a cross member. So I'm not 100% sure on how it's all gonna work together. Okay, so we got the transfer case. Um, I built these brackets as you saw a little bit of uh, just so I got more surface to weld there and then we want this to be right in the center so transmission will go here it'll have a short drive shaft going to this this will go to the rear axle this will go to the front axle giving us four-wheel drive so I measured it out for this to be the center we need a piece 21 inches on this side and a piece that's 16 inches on that side and then I'll put it up in there, get it tacked into place, and then I'll start reinforcing it um, underneath. So, well, I Owen's been doing most of this, but I'm kind of curious to get inside his head and see what he's thinking. He's got the single iron brackets. He's cut a 21 inch piece for this side, a 16 inch piece for that. Yep. And somehow he's got to get them welded on and then brace it from side to side. Yeah, so I'm either going to brace it on the top or underneath. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is going to be so, so awesome and so fun. All right, so you saw me make this. Uh, we got it up here on a stand. We're trying to get it in place and we were doing some test fitting. It's hitting the floor where these bolts are. So we're going to take the port power and bash the floor in and then we'll get this back into place. 